This series used to be called Household Alternative to Commercial Resin Pigments and Dyes. Thanks to viewer suggestion, it is now called Dye Trying. And this is number five. As per usual, I tried my best to use items that I already have in my household along with suggestions that you guys have made. For the mold today, we are using these adorable little flamingos. Today we are using Total Boat Resin and we're just gonna mix some up. We'll do one pump from each, resin and hardener. There we go. Nasty children's cough syrup, grape flavored. If you wanted the trivia question, this is the secret ingredient to the Flaming Homer. All right, that is a little pale. It doesn't do us any good if it's not a good pigment. Let's see if we can get it to turn more purple. That looks like spoiled yogurt. Fantastic. And straight into the first flamingo. The side. Second suggestion I get all the time, ramen flavor packets. I picked beef because uh, beef is nasty and nobody has to feel bad about beef being used up. And if you don't agree with me, then uh, fight me. And even though none of you are here with me, you are all going to smell this. Um, you frankly have ingested too much MSG. And since this is a powder and most of the powders that we've used on this show have worked, I think, I think this should work as well. Yep, a gravy color. Look at that. Oh, that is... It's just not... Yeah. It's just not good. Not good. So while I was rooting around in the medicine cabinet for the cough syrup, I found this. Calamine lotion. What? <laughs> what is that? It's these are your shop towels. <laughs> That's a ginormous box. I know, it's so many. That's awesome. We're not going to run out of shop towels anytime <laughs> soon. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Calamine lotion. And I thought it might be perfect for dye. Poison ivy, poison ivy. You're gonna need a notion of calamine lotion. Ooh, it might be really wet. It might be too wet for this. It makes me itch just thinking about this. Kids today, kids today, right? They don't have, don't have chicken pox. You get a, there's a chicken pox vaccine, which means um, 20 year olds and younger never got chicken pox, didn't have to deal with all that. Super awesome for them. Uh, hated chicken pox, awful. And this was the only salvation, was this lotion. All right, there we go, calamine lotion. Okay, so the next suggestion is a pretty widely suggested item, which is whiteout. Side, whoa, it's turning gummy like glue. Feels like a pot of Elmer's glue. I get it, it is glue, but it doesn't feel like resin anymore. It's a really nice color. Uh, a couple episodes back, someone asked me to do toilet bowl cleaner, and I got the wrong kind of toilet bowl cleaner. So back in my old shop, in the back corner, that shop was full when we moved in. It was full of stuff. This is from 1997. Been in there for quite a while. Oop, we got a bubble. That's kind of gross. All right. I think that's what you guys were hoping for. Like this. Ah! Oh! Not good. Not good. Whole cup just turned hot. That's not good. We, that is a super chemical reaction. The entire cup is like super hot. I'm going to, yeah, no, bad toilet bowl cleaner. Whatever chemical is in this reacts very poorly with this. Okay, toilet bowl cleaner, you're out. Bad. Now, I don't even know if I can grind up seashell fine enough to be a powder, but if I can, I might be really cool. I got this tiny bag of seashells. I don't know what kind of shell that is. All right, let's see if this even works.
Did somebody actually suggest this or am I just going crazy? I'm going to have to look through the comment section and see if I actually found somebody that actually suggested this to me or if I just dreamed this up. This definitely looks like cocaine. Like if a police officer came here, right he would now. not believe me when I said, no, 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 it's just ground up seashell. I promise. It's just ground up seashell. I promise you. And, and see what happens. Because I don't actually know what's going to happen. Considering, whoa. Sorry about that. Everybody okay? Sorry about that. Just kick the tripod. Okay, so one that I've gotten numerous times is motor oil. And I know that this isn't motor oil, but it is oil and they did have it in the house already. It is a really nice color. It's actually a really nice color. Wow, it actually stirs up really nice too. Um, wow, that just looks good. Look at that. Look at this, other pigments. This is what oil looks like. You could do a little something and learn from them. Oil doesn't look like weird garbage. So, yeah, be nice to him. He's new here. All right, so antacid, and I'm just gonna pick out a handful of these tealish looking ones. these will yield something useful. Just a couple spoons. There you go, just a couple. Oh, wow, what a really nice color. Look at that. If this hardens up, antacid will be a runaway winner. That was super easy to grind up. The color is great. They're probably already in your medicine cabinet. All right, into the cup. So I've got one slot left open, no ingredients left on my list. So I just went inside and grabbed the first thing I saw, which was a packet of soy sauce. And my gut says that this is going to absolutely fail. I don't think anybody asked me to do this one. I don't want to add too much. Well, they don't put much in there. Another gravy looking one. We'll see. I'll have to keep track of which one's which. Okay, so it's been a couple days and everyone should have had plenty of time to cure. Luckily we've got eight samples here, so hopefully a couple of them will work. Let's start right at the beginning with cough syrup. Oh, it's still liquid. You guys see that? I'm really glad I had the foresight to put gloves on. All right, it did not fully cure. It's actually got this strange cavity here in the front and um, the back half appears to have cured somewhat. I think that's the resin and this is the cough syrup. But I think all of the cough syrup is still in the mold. So that is definitely not one of our wins. Second one on our list was ramen packet flavoring. And this was the beef flavoring. It's a powdered flavoring. Um, I think this should do well. I don't see why this one won't work. Oh yeah. Okay, that actually worked really well. You can still see the little flecks of flavoring in there. It's got pretty decent color. Oh look, some of the chives. <laughs> so yeah, uh, ramen packet, totally works. We'll put this one in the wind pile. This is interesting. It's pretty easy to tell that something went wrong here before we even start unmolding this. And it is just flaking apart. It is, it is literally just dust in the wind. Dust in the wind, my flamingo's just dust in the wind. Dust in the wind, my flamingo's just dust in the wind. Isn't that bonkers? Have you ever had anything like that? I've never seen anything like this. 
I mean, it kind of makes sense considering what calamine does, which is soak up all of the um, itchy stuff on your arm, right? So that's kind of what it's made to do is to dry it out. Yeah, I guess it so. It dried out the resin and that turned it into like super, little nodules. Super weird. It's really weird. I was going to pop it out. I was like, if I pop it out, it's just going to, yeah, it's just a pile of dust. Yeah, at the end, you'll have to pour it out. Yeah. All the other see if we had any more success with white out. See if I can get this out without dusting the calamine everywhere. Oh, look, it looks like it actually hardened. Okay. Interesting. It's actually really hard to see it. I wonder if I turn down, let me see if I turn down this, this setting a little bit. You can kind of make it out. It's hardened. Uh, it's got a line here where some of the white out, some of the pigment actually rose to the top. So most of this separated and most of the pigments on the top, it is a little sticky. Okay. It's, it's totally opaque. I mean, I guess it's a little translucent. It's mostly opaque. I'm going to put white out in the wind pile just because it did completely harden and it looks like it worked. Ground up seashell, which was this one right here, is certainly the most effort I've ever put into a pigment. That's not it. Nope, nope. This was ground up seashell. Here we go. This one's ground up seashell, actually. So it's not much of a pigment because it didn't mix. So this is, this is clear resin and that's maybe some leftover dust. So I wouldn't call this a pigment. I really like the way that looks. That looks like stone. That was a ton of effort to get it, but what a cool look. I'm putting it in the wind pile for sure. Uh, I don't know if I'd call it, it's not a pigment, but it is definitely an interesting additive for resin. Um, this was oil for my chainsaw that I don't, I don't know if I've ever used my chainsaw for anything. That is a total win, 100% absolute win. Great color. Um, it's opaque, uh, looks great, cured fantastically. A really great color, it looks like a pink flamingo. That is not only a good pigment, but I would actually use that. I could see myself using that one in the future. So that's a really cool one. This is Tums, which went in as one of my favorites. I think it should come out looking pretty good. Oh, look at that. It settled on the bottom. Not to the same extent, because you definitely have nice color throughout here, but it did settle uh, and it does give a neat effect much like the seashells do. It is an opaque color. Uh, for the price of Tums, this would be a great value. Right, we got quite a few in the wind pile, actually. Not really sure about this one. It looks like it hardened up. Seems like a surprise. I mean, it's, it looks like a soy sauce color. It's a nice color. It appears to have hardened up. Uh, if you're looking for a brown, soy sauce is probably a better choice than ramen flavor packets. It doesn't have any of the little grits like you get from the other. Um, you saw how much we put in. We put in a ton of soy sauce and it didn't affect the resin. So yeah, if you're going for a nice brown color, a nice gravy color, uh, soy sauce would probably be, soy sauce would probably be the one that you want to do. All right, so there's the, there's the calamine. <laughs> wow, so weird. One was too wet <laughs> and one was too dry. Sounds like a Dr. Seuss. I'm actually super happy with motor oil, ground up seashells, Tums, and soy sauce. And to a lesser extent, while these both succeeded, I, I'm not really that fond of them, beef flavored ramen and whiteout. A question I get asked a lot is, do these retain their smell? And the answer is no. When you're mixing it, it definitely smells like whatever you're mixing in, but once it cures, it just smells like resin. So let's see if any of these fluoresce under a black light. Um, oh yeah, definitely the motor oil does. And a little bit the Tums, I'd say. Let's go down the line here, soy sauce. A little bit, you can see the flecking on the ramen. And then not really for the white out. Oh, chamomile does. 
our fifth installment of the newly named Die Trying. I will go ahead and put a playlist at the end for the other four episodes. Lots of failures and successes in those episodes. If you have ideas that we haven't tried yet, leave a comment down below. I'd love to do more of these. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will catch you next time.